Hey kids, here's our first day of, uh, of Fusion 360. We're gonna make Tetris pieces like this. And uh, let's get started. So once you open up Fusion 360, make sure you open up a new file and it'll look something like this. A couple of things to note before we really begin is uh, C right here on the left, top left, it, it gives you a bunch of settings and stuff like that. Uh, unsaved, that, that means, I mean, obviously we haven't saved it. So why don't we go ahead and save our design. Tetris piece or something. Uh, doesn't matter what the location is. Cool, we saved. Now uh, we can just control S or you know save later so that everything's saved. The next thing you really need to look at is uh, right here in the document settings, our units are in centimeters. Uh, that's good, uh, we want centimeters. If we want, we can change them to something else. Uh, but centimeters are what we want, okay? Now the thing with Fusion 360, this is the single most important thing I could tell you, is you really cannot create a 3D shape until you create a 2D shape. And that's kind of an overgeneralization. But what I mean is you have to draw a square before you can make a cube, all right? You gotta draw a circle before you can make a sphere, okay? So if these Tetris pieces are made out of cubes, we gotta start by drawing a square. So let's go into the top left. This thing is create sketch. I believe you can just do it by pressing S. Eh, I don't know. Anyways, whatever, I'm gonna click on it. And now you're gonna select what which plane you're going to create your square on. So it doesn't matter which one, I'm just gonna click the bottom one. And now I'm gonna draw a square. Now up here, I could do it with a rectangle or I could do it by creating four lines. I'm just going to make a rectangle. It does not matter where I select it. Okay, that's two centimeters by two centimeters. I wanna do one by one. Uh, you don't have to drag, just type the number one and then tab, one, tab, all right? That's all you gotta do. And there you go, Dunsies. Just press enter, there's my square, and I'm gonna click up here to finish my sketch. And there you go, you've created your first 2D sketch. The next thing we gotta do is we gotta make it into a cube, right? So to do that, I'm going to press this button, extrude. Extrude is how you turn something from 2D to 3D. So I'll click that, and I'm gonna click on my shape, and uh, it's a cube, so I want it to be one centimeter. Perfect, we've created our first uh, 3D shape. Now, maybe you're thinking, Poe, how, how are you manipulating the screen? You really need a mouse for this. To move your object left and right, press the scroll wheel. Okay, go ahead and give it a shot. Press the scroll wheel, okay? To zoom in and out, you zoom in and out of the scroll wheel. And to rotate the whole thing, hold shift and press in the scroll wheel, okay? So try all of those if you haven't yet. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is we gotta create the Tetris piece, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and create some more little shapes on top of our cube. Actually, maybe I don't have to do that. I think the 2D shape is already created. Sorry guys, I should have done should have done more research ahead of time. Let me delete what I just made. Can I just extrude this like normal? Hey, I can, because I've already created the surface. Sweet, okay. Uh, so why don't I go ahead and create uh, two centimeters, just so that we're all on the same page here. I'm creating uh, the purple one on the bottom right. So I'm creating the purple one there. Uh, anyways, now I gotta make a little square coming out here. Uh, to do that, I'm gonna make a sketch first. So, let's see. I can make this one by one. And I uh, need to make another one, one by one also, so I'm in the middle. Nice, cool, let's create that sketch. If you want to delete this sketch, I think you can with the T button, T for trim, does that work? Doesn't matter, you don't need to do it. I'm gonna finish the sketch now. And now I'm gonna extrude that square I made. One centimeter. And Eureka, I have finished my first Tetris piece. I made the, I made the purple one. Uh, however, I kinda want it to be colored. So in order to do that, I'm gonna select everything. And uh, properties, no it's not, it's appearance. Click on appearance. 
and it's going to show you all the different kinds of things you can make it out of. So do I have any good colors or shapes or anything? Uh, I'm going to make mine out of wood. Mahogany, that's right, mahogany Tetris pieces. Uh, I'm going to click mahogany and kind of drag it over here. And it worked. Uh, that doesn't look nearly as cool as I thought it would. Uh, maybe I'll make mine out of bronze instead. Eh, whatever. Okay, so that's my first Tetris piece. You're going to make the other four Tetris pieces. Okay, now whenever you're done, I need you to have your name on this somewhere. So to create your name, I'm going to do a sketch, just like we've been doing. All right, I want it to be on the same plane, so I'll select that plane. Okay, and I'm going to uh, do text. So where, which of these is text? Guys, I feel like I'm gonna to have to do another take. This isn't working. Where's text? Is it not here? Hmm, create. Ah, oh, there we go, okay. Um, so I'm gonna type my name, Mr. Poe. Okay, and you can make that bigger or smaller. You can change the height if you want. Uh, and then I'm going to, oh boy, make that bigger. Uh, finish that sketch and then extrude it. Uh, I guess I'll extrude it a half a centimeter. And there we go. It like looks kind of dumb. It comes up too high. But uh, anyways, go ahead and create your other Tetris pieces. Once you're done, uh, turn it in uh, through OneNote and uh, move on to the next project, the coaster. Good luck, kids.